I don't know about you, but I do whatever I want, when I want, with whoever I want, and not influenced by anybody or anything. Ian, time to do the dishes, now! Oh, yeah, right. Robert Cialdini is a very famous author that wrote a book called Influence, and in this book he talks about the six principles of persuasion. And this is really important if you want to generate more customers online, so that's what we're going to cover. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink, unless you're the horse whisperer, <laughs> then you can do whatever you want. Uh, when you set up a sales funnel, it's difficult to persuade people to buy. So persuade people to opt in on an email list, persuade people to go to a sales page and buy. So understanding how you can persuade people to take that extra step is going to make a huge difference in your sales. So Robert Cialdini's six principles of persuasion are definitely going to help. So let's take a look at how this applies online. Now as part of the demonstrations, I want to show a sales funnel. So I'm going to use Get Responses Auto Funnel, which is a great feature in their product to allow you to easily set up sales funnels. So we'll use that within our presentations today. The first rule of persuasion I want to cover is reciprocation. So re reciprocation, reciprocation, that's a hard word to say. That's about if I give something for you for free, you feel obliged to do something back to me. Now, if we look at a sales funnel, so we're in here within Get Response Sales Funnel, and we're gonna edit the business coaching section here. So what we've done here is created a landing page, and on that landing page, we're providing a free opt-in. So you can see the opt-in here. So this is for a consultant providing training about doubling your monthly income. And in here is the fill in the form to get a free ebook. So providing a free ebook or a lead gen op opportunity like this is a great way of starting that rule of reciprocation. So you provide something of value for free and hopefully they'll something to do something in return. The second rule of persuasion is consistency. So for example, somebody opts in to a, for a guide or an ebook, are you communicating with them on a consistent basis after they opt in? Would you like to buy now? Or how about now? Is now a good time? Buying a product? What about now? Now? Now. Immediately, let's buy. You wanna buy now? Now we don't want to be the pushy salesperson, but we do want to communicate on a consistent basis. For example, when somebody signs up, there might be an initial welcome email. So you send a welcome email, three days later you send another email providing something of value, three days again after that you provide another email with something of value, and maybe you provide an offer at that stage. And then if they still haven't bought a product or service, you may put them on your newsletter, and every single week, you send them a newsletter with some valuable information. So on the seventh day, the 14th day, the 21st day, you get the message. The third rule of persuasion is social proof. We look to see what other people are doing and that affects our behavior. So for example, if we look at an order form here, we can see on the very right hand side of the order form, we have some testimonials. And this is key, so when people are, are right at the very end of the funnel, they're putting in their details, their billing address and their credit card information, those testimonials on the right hand side will affect our behavior and will improve our conversion rate. So really do pay attention to social proof, it is really important. The fourth rule of persuasion is liking. For example, if you like me, if I show a bit of personality and have a bit of fun, you're more likely to like me, more likely to do business with me. So liking is important. What can you do in your business to help people like you, become friends, connect with you on a personal level, and they will do more business with you? The fifth principle of persuasion is authority. When you perceive somebody as being a figure of authority, you're more likely to do business with them. For example, if I look at Leelock Bullock's website here, so Leelock is a very well-known digital strategist. On the top right-hand side of our homepage, we see she's one of the top 20 women social influencers for Forbes, a social influencer in Europe in, for Oracle, and one of the top digital marketing influencers for career experts. Demonstrating that you have a position of authority really is going to benefit you in your sales funnel. The sixth principle of persuasion is scarcity. So if people think things are scarce, they're more likely to take action. You need to convince people to take that action. For example, if you said there's only five places left on your program, or if we take a look at this um, order form using AutoFunnel, we see in the top right hand side, we can see the offer ends in four days, 23 hours, 52 minutes. Uh, within AutoFunnel, it's very easy to drag this in onto the page and have this timer available here as well. 
So setting that deadline is another way of letting people know this offer is going to disappear. And this really helps get people to take action. And your bonus tip is number seven is people buy from people they're scared of. <laughs> Not really, only messing. Influence is a very important part of generating sales online. And these principles of persuasion are really important. If you want to set this up, well, if you want to set up a sales funnel, use Get Responses Auto Funnel as we showed earlier. But definitely, either way, apply these principles to your business and you will generate more sales. And don't forget to give us a comment below. We love getting feedback from you. And give us a thumbs up. Thank you very much.